Hey, what is up awesome people? This is Shady Wags with Got Your Back Gaming. And the great thing about owning a Microsoft Mixed Reality headset is that you have the Microsoft Store and the Steam VR Store available to you. And that gives you access to thousands of VR games and apps. But the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift both have their own dedicated home applications and storefronts that include games and apps that are exclusive to both the Vive and the Rift. Now with the Mixed Reality headset and Steam, you can still access and play those titles. Yeah, with a mixed reality headset, you can play HTC Vive in Oculus Rift games, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you do need a Steam account. If you don't have one of those yet, head over to steam.com, sign up, and create an account. Then from Steam, you wanna search for Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR, and go ahead and install that. Now you want to go to Vive.com and all the links and all the steps for the setup will be down in the description. At the top of the page, you want to click on the Setup Download button. Then you want to click on Download Vive Setup and save that file to somewhere on your PC. And once that's completed downloading, you want to run that Vive Setup file. Hit the Get Started button and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the Accept button. You're then gonna to need to log out of Steam, so go over to Steam and hit the exit button. Then back in the Vive setup, you're then gonna to need to log into Steam to link Vive to your Steam account. Now you just wanna click through hitting next to go through all the hardware setup, and then you wanna skip detection. And the last thing is to hit the launch Steam VR button. This should open the mixed reality portal and Steam VR. So at this point, go ahead and shut down the Mixed Reality Portal. Next, go to Oculus.com, and you're gonna click on the Setup tab from the menu, then click on Download Oculus Software, and save that file to somewhere on your PC. Once that download is complete, you wanna run the Oculus Setup. Now I did have issues with this file, it didn't want to run, I had to go to my antivirus software and shut that down for 10 minutes to allow the installation to complete. So once that's up and running, select your locations and then click on Let's Go. Agree to the terms and conditions, then choose the folder where you'd like to download games and apps, then hit the next button. Hit install now and the software will begin downloading and then installing. Once it's completed installation, click on the next button and you're gonna to need to create an Oculus account and then verify your email. After verifying your email, then you're gonna to need to watch the safety videos. Finally, when it gets to this screen, select set up later and then go ahead and close the Oculus software. And the last thing you need to install is Revive and the link for that again, it's gonna be down in the description. Download the Revive installer to your PC and run that file and just accept all the defaults. And once Revive is completed installation, now you're ready to download and play both Vive and Oculus games on your mixed reality headset. Now one way to play Vive games is you can open up Viveport and you can browse all the titles there. To demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and I'll click on the free box and then I'm gonna click on the blue and then I'll click on the continue button. Now what I'm going to do is from my desktop, I'll launch Steam VR. This is going to open the Mixed Reality Portal and place me into the Steam VR home. I'll then click in the left thumbstick on the motion controller to open the Steam menu. Now at the bottom of the Steam menu, there is now a Vibe button. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that button. And now from here, I can also browse and install Vibe games. And the blue, which I selected in the Vibe port, has already appeared on the right-hand menu. I can click on that, and there we go. And to play Oculus Rift games, open the Oculus Home app, and from the app, you're able to purchase and download any of the Oculus games and apps, even exclusives. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to go to Top Free. I'm going to download Face Your Fears and Oculus Contact. Now the same steps as before, I'll launch Steam VR from my desktop. This will open the Mixed Reality Portal and place me into the Steam VR home. 
I'll then click in the left thumbstick on the motion controller to open the Steam menu. And at the bottom of the Steam menu, click on the Revive button. And the titles that I downloaded from Oculus Home are now available to launch from right here. You will have to purchase and download Oculus titles from the Oculus Home because there's no way to do that here from within Steam. Now, if the Revive button is not appearing for you, uh, go to your desktop and you wanna go to Steam, open Steam VR, and then click here, and then you wanna click on Settings. Now select Applications and make sure there's a check mark in the box next to Revive. This is great for mixed reality headset owners because now you have even more options. All those Vive and Oculus exclusive titles are gonna be available to you. And this also allows you to take advantage of the Vive Port subscription service. That's a service for $6.99 a month that you can select and play up to five VR titles. And another great way to save on purchasing Steam VR titles is by using Kingwin. Me and my friends buy a lot of PC games and we've been using Kingwin for over a year now without even one issue. Star Trek Bridge Crew is $60 on Steam, but I was able to purchase that through Kingwin for $35. So it definitely can save you a bunch of money. And if you use my link down in the description, you're going to get an additional 5% off any Kingwin purchases. So definitely take advantage of that. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, please pound that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one. Later.